Zarvonio here. I'm sitting on my front porch this morning enjoying some coffee. But if you come outside this morning, you might need to grab an umbrella because there could be some rain showers passing by. But don't worry, it will clear up and should be a high of 54 degrees and mostly sunny. But tonight, it's gonna get down to a temperature of 37 degrees. Brrr. Hi Bearsville, Miss Monaghan here. So our core value this month is humility. A great way to show humility is to learn something new. Do you have a friend or family member who knows how to do something you'd like to learn? Well, ask them to teach you. You will help build their confidence and learn humility. My mom is a really good painter. Actually, here's a picture she painted for me. Maybe I can ask her how to paint some pretty flowers. Soccer has been amazing this year. I love playing offense because, well, I'm pretty fast and I'm learning how to shoot better every week. All year, Coach has said the rule for the ladybugs is to pass three times before you shoot. Everyone on the team has scored a goal. Except for Madison. We are 9-6 and six and probably going to the tournament. Today when I got the ball, I had the perfect shot. It was just me and the goalie, and I was ahead of everyone. It would have been easy, but I could hear Coach saying, Pass three times before you shoot. I passed it to Madison. I know I still could have made it, but I'm glad she did. Love, Lainey. So we have one birthday today at Bearsville. So we are wishing a very happy birthday to Paisley Sharp and Mrs. Sims class. Hope you have a great day, Paisley. Hi Bearsville, it's Mrs. Arvonio again. I'm here with... Aviana. And this is Leah, and we are in Aviana's teepee tent in her bedroom. And I have some fun facts for the day. So in 1791, Samuel F.B. Morris was born and he was the inventor of the Morse code telegraph transmitter. And that's what it looked like. And then in 1822, yes! S. Grant, he was born and he was a Union General during the American Civil War and he was our 18th president. Pretty cool. So I have a question of the day for you guys. And that question is, if you could only eat one thing every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. For me, I think it would be pizza because I can put all kinds of different toppings on that pizza. I could even make a dessert pizza. Mmm, yum, making me hungry thinking about it. So what would you eat every day for the rest of your life? Hmm. 